Alrighty, now we're going to deal with congruent triangles. So congruent polygons are polygons where all the parts of one polygon are congruent to all the corresponding parts of another polygon. So whenever we talk about all the parts, that's angles and sides. So corresponding angles are the angles that are in the same relative position in both polygons. And then, of course, corresponding sides are basically the same thing. They are the sides in the, that are in the same relative position on both polygons. All right, so that's a bunch of words. Let's see what that looks like. Corresponding angles. So my A has a double arc, and that has to go with the other double arc, which is H. Um, my B has a single arc, and that's going to go with my other single arc, which is J. And then C has a triple arc, and that will go with my other triple arc, which is K. So corresponding angles are angle A is congruent to my other yellow, angle H. Angle B is congruent to my other pink angle, which is angle J, and angle C is congruent to my other green angle, which is angle K. So it has to be that way. They have to be written together because those are the ones that go together. And then sides are going to be the same thing as well, corresponding sides. So this is the way you have to think about it with sides. And I'm going to erase the angle um, highlight in just a minute. Um, so Let's, well, on this one, it's easy. Hold on, I'll show you why. On this one, they mark it. If they don't mark it, it becomes more problematic. But this one that has one tick mark is congruent to the one with one tick mark. The one with two tick marks is congruent to the one with two tick marks. And the one with three tick marks is congruent to the one with three tick marks. Okay, now how you name sides make a difference. So I, if I name it AB and it's congruent to, my AB went from blue, on the orange side, it went from blue to purple. So on the orange side, it's gotta go from blue to purple, HJ. And yes, it must be named that way or it will be wrong. All right, then if I do BC, BC went from orange to blue on my purple side. So on my purple side, I have to go from orange to blue, which is JK. And then on my blue side, if I say AC, that goes from orange to purple on my blue side. So to go from orange to purple on my blue side, it's HK. So they must go in that order. You cannot say it in the opposite way. Well, you can name the first one whatever you want, but however you name the first one matters how you name the second one. And then if we do um, congruent triangles, if we say triangle ABC, it has to go with the way that our angles did. So A went with H, so H has to go first. B went with J, so J has to go second. And C went with K, so K has to go last. Now it doesn't matter. I could have named the first triangle whatever. I could have named it BCA. But then my second triangle has to be named like my first. It matters this time. All right, third angle theorem. It says, if two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the third angles are congruent. All right, so just like this picture, because we know that these angles are congruent and these angles are congruent, then these angles also will be congruent. We know that um, because it's the same thing with 180. If we know that the bottom two are going to be the same, the third ones have to be the same. All right, name the congruent corresponding parts and the congruency statement. So angles are the easiest to do. 
A is a one arc, and it goes with D that's a one arc. B is a two arc on my left triangle, but C is the two arc on my right triangle. And then B, C is the three arc on my left triangle and the three arc on my right triangle. So whenever I name my angles, I have to say that angle A is congruent to angle D and angle B is congruent to, well, I can't say B. You can't say B because you don't know which one you're talking about. So angle A, B, C is congruent to angle, and since I said yellow, pink, green, I have to say yellow, pink, green. So D, C, B. And then um, angle, and if I call this one, I said, if I do this one yellow, green, pink, then I have to do this one yellow, green, pink also. So yellow, green, pink on the left is A, C, B. Yellow, green, pink on the right is D, B, C. All right, those are my angles. Sides. This one is actually marked, so it makes life a little bit easier. So my two sides, if I go from yellow to green, I have to go from yellow to green. So AC is congruent to DB. Then we have our double marked sides. If I go from yellow to pink, I have to go from yellow to pink. So AB is congruent to DC. And then we got our triple mark sides. Now this one's gonna be a little crazy. So on our triple mark side on the left triangle, if I go from pink to green on the right triangle, I still have to go from pink to green. So on the left triangle, I'm gonna name it BC, but on the right triangle, it's named CB. And it has to be that way. All right, so finally we can do triangles. So triangle, if I name it ABC, which on my right triangle goes from yellow to pink to green. I have to go from yellow to pink to green on my right one. So triangle DCB. All righty. Angles. So J is between my one and two are, uh, mark line. So the thing that's between my one and two mark line is L. All right. K is between my two and nothing. So on my right one, the one that's between two and nothing is M. So it's kind of like the last one where they're gonna be half marks. On my right one, my M is between one and nothing. So the one between one and nothing is K on my top triangle. Okay, so angles. Let's do the yellows because they're the easiest one, J and L. All right, so if I do my first one, yellow, pink, green, so angle J, K, M is congruent to yellow, pink, green, angle L, M, K. And then if I do yellow, green, pink, I have to do yellow, green, pink. So L, K, M. Sides. My one sides from yellow to green, J, M. From yellow to green is L, K. Two side. From yellow to pink is JK. From yellow to pink is LM. And then my no side. If I go from pink to green, my left one, I have to go from pink to green on my right one. There's my sides. Now my triangles. So if I name my first triangle JKM, that was yellow, 
pink, green, then I have to go yellow, pink, green. So triangle J, M, K. All righty. Now, these triangles are supposed to be congruent triangles. All right. So, A and D are congruent angles. A and D. B and F are congruent angles. So, B and F. And then E and C are congruent angles. C and E. All right, let's figure out our sides now. So this side is from pink to green. On this one from pink to green is this one. All right, I can set up my equations now. So I have eight, my pink angles. 8y minus 5 is equal to 99. Those are my pink angles. Subtract 5 on both sides. And that gives me 104. Oh, add 5, sorry. Add 5 on both sides. And y is 13. And then my purple sides, I have 2, and I know y is 13, plus x is equal to 38.4. 2 times 13 is 26. Subtract 26 from both sides, and you get 12.4. Okay. Okay. So we have a one arc side and a one arc side, which means this one's also 148. And then we have a no arc side and a no arc side, and then a double arc side and a double arc side. Okay. So we know that 5x minus y is going to be equal to 18, because that's my pink stuff, right? And then, on this top one, we know what the green angle is. 148, well, 180, oops, that's supposed to be black. 180 minus 148 minus 18 gives me 14 degrees. So now that we know what 14 is, we know that we can set up our green ones, which are 3x plus y is equal to 14. All right, so we've got a system. And what's nice is these already are opposites, which means we can easily solve by elimination. So 5x minus y is equal to 18, and we're going to add that to 3x plus y is equal to 14. Add 5x plus 3x and you get 8x. Minus y plus y gives you, um, gives you 0. And then 18 plus 14 is 32. Divide by 8 on both sides and x is 4. Now you just plug that into one of the originals. It doesn't matter which one. I typically like to deal with positives. So I'm going to do 3 times 4 plus y is equal to 14 using my green one. 12 plus y is equal to 14. Subtract y from both sides, and y is 2. That's the end of your notes.